So today I want to do a video with you guys. It's kind of along the lines of like the LuLaRoe video that I did and the Lip Sense and the Wish app. I recently actually changed that playlist from a scene on Facebook as a hyped up products playlist. I thought that was more fitting because the whole purpose of starting that playlist and those videos or whatever you want to call it was basically just to try out all of the things that are so hyped up right now, whether they're products or services or what have you. So I changed that playlist. I'll leave it underneath here if you want to see it. But basically, this is another video that is along those lines. I recently made a purchase on the Kylie Cosmetics website because a lot of you guys were asking me if I had tried her lip kits, which I had not. I've heard so many like amazing things about them, but at the same time, I've heard a lot of people say that you know, they're not so great or they're overly hyped or they got their product and it was empty. Like there's been like a lot of stories in the news lately about people getting the new Kai highlighters or Kai lighters or whatever she calls them and like their packaging was empty or something like that. I don't know. Who knows? But I thought I would do just a purchase on her website just to see for myself what the products were like because I've been avoiding trying them for so long because any product that's just so overly hyped up, I either usually don't have a great experience with or I just feel like are too good to be true or I don't know I'm just one of those people who tries not to get caught up in like celebrity um, all of all of that so anyways I thought I would just give these products a chance for you guys and just to give my honest opinion so I did purchase all these products myself with my own money uh, shipping was pretty decent I would say it took about a week and a half from purchasing to receiving the product almost two weeks actually so I, I mean it's not the fastest shipping but it's not the slowest either it's reasonable but I did go to the website a lot of stuff was already sold out that I wanted to try so these are kind of like some of my second picks but I'm not one of those people who stocks her website for like every release and I hear like her stuff sells out really really fast all the time so I just kind of picked what I liked and what I thought I could use if I bought it because obviously I didn't want to spend like a hundred and something dollars and waste my money uh, hopefully I didn't do that but yeah so I'm gonna open this up real quick this is what the inside looks like it just says Kylie, Kylie Cosmetics. It has some protection right here. Uh, it's got her little uh, lip thingy. I don't know, lip mouth thing. And then there's a little cute little mass produced note from, uh, from Kylie on there. And then my receipt. And then actually everything's really well packaged. Like nothing is like rolling around. Everything's kind of like secure in its thing. This is the highlighter, which has been the recent like, <gasps> because some people are, are receiving empty products. It's really heavy. Like it's a substantial weight. It weighs more than my Becca Cosmetics one. The color is Salted Caramel and there is 0.34 ounces in it. Whereas in my Becca Cosmetics one, there is 0.28 ounces. So there's more in there. The highlighters cost $22 a piece, which for that much product, I do think is a good price. I think that's a solid price if they do work. This is what it looks like. Thankfully, there is highlighter in here. I picked Salted Caramel A because the one that I did want was sold out and B, the other tones just looked a little bit too bright for me, especially because we're going into summer. I wanted something that I could wear really well with a tan, so this looked really nice. Also, I thought this would make a really good eyeshadow color as well. There's a little mirror in here. Uh, not the best mirror, but let's swatch it. Ooh, that's a really... That's weird. It's not a cream. It's a very, very plush satiny, like I just want to rub my finger around it, but I don't want to waste product. That's really, that's really pretty. So it's a very buttery, satiny, cushiony feeling. It's not like a like powder to the point where you're going to have like a lot of loose powder everywhere. They are very beautiful, very pigmented, but we'll see how it applies with a fan brush because that's usually how I apply my highlighter. I then also got two lip colors. The first one was a matte liquid lipstick. This was $17 and this is called Chloe. This is part of the Coco collection because if I'm gonna be honest, she's my favorite Kardashian out of all of them, which I'm not like a huge fan of the Kardashians. I don't watch their show, but if I had to pick one, I like Chloe the most whatever that means. Uh, but this is the packaging. Very, very gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Just kind of like a rose gold color. I picked this color just because it looked really good on Chloe. So I thought maybe that would be pretty. And that is gorgeous. I think this is the one I'm going to wear. The unfortunate thing is that this was not sold in a lip kit, so I don't have a lip liner that goes with it, so I'll probably have to use one of my own. But I did get a lip kit. This is in the color Kristen, just because I wanted to try something new, and Kristen looked like a color that I don't normally wear or own, but it 
still looks like a color that I could wear on the, a daily basis. And this was $29 for both. So you do get a full size lip liner and you get a full size lippy. So that I think is actually a really good deal if they work really well. I don't think that's a rip off. I don't think that's overpriced. I think that's a decent deal. So there's Kristen Swatch with the lip liner and the lippy and it's very, very pretty. I got Kristen basically for the summer though because I thought it would look really, really pretty this summer. And last but not least, I did get a Kai shadow because I wanted to do a full look using Kylie Cosmetics. So price point for this palette is $42. You get nine different colors, no mirror on the inside, and the packaging, I'm just gonna go out and already say it is, I think, kind of cheap. It is, it just, it's just a cardboard and it's not even like a nice looking cardboard. That's just my personal opinion. Like it just, it, it feels and looks cheap for $42. Uh, the outside of mine actually has a bunch of makeup smudges on it already, which I didn't, I just literally took it out of the box, so I'm not quite sure how those got there. But the colors are really, really pretty. So if the color is really nice and it goes really well on my face, then I won't complain about the $42. But if it's if it's a dud, then I don't really understand why this thing costs $42. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I already have my base down, I have my eyebrows done, which today is not a good eyebrow day for me. It's just like a mess. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and get into this look and see what we can do. So starting off, let's just start with the eyeshadow. Again, I really wish there was a mirror in here. I find that really annoying for a $42 palette to not have even just like a funhouse mirror, like one of those like cheap ones. I just, that really bothers me because now I have to like hold up another mirror. You know, like I just kind of, something about just doing this that's just easier. I don't know. First I'm gonna take this middle one right here which is in the color Beach. This seems like a really nice like neutral tan color. I picked this palette because I liked all the burgundies in it. I don't normally wear a lot of burgundy eyeshadows. I don't have a lot of burgundy eyeshadows. So I thought it would be fun to get a you know eyeshadow palette that's different than what I normally own. And first off the bat, I will say that Beach is going on really nicely, very pigmented. It kind of reminds me of this eyeshadow I used to use. It was called like Fawn, I think. I don't know, I don't remember who made it. It's a very pretty color. It's nothing special, but it's, it's very pretty. It'll work. I just have this color, I feel like, in eight different other palettes, so yeah. Next, I'm gonna take this color right here. I think this is Penny. My complaint about eyeshadow palettes, this is, I'm just gonna go out and say it. My complaint about eyeshadow palettes is that the colors on the back are always the opposite of the colors in the front. It's like mirrored, it's flipped. So what drives me insane is that I kind of just wish that like whatever is in this spot was in this spot, but instead it's over here. Do you know what I mean? So this right here says naked, which is actually this one, but in the way that my brain works, it should be the opposite. Like whatever is on this side right here, I feel like should be in this hole right here. I don't know. That's just like a little pet peeve of mine, but I've noticed a lot of eyeshadow palettes do that, so then I get confused, because I flip it over, I'm like, oh, that should be naked. You know what I mean? And I think it's just the way that my brain functions versus somebody else's. Somebody else is probably like, no, I like it the other way. But in my mind, that's I always get confused by that. So if I ever call out a wrong name of an eyeshadow in an upcoming video, that is why. So this is the color Penny. Kind of looks like a peachy... I don't know. It doesn't really necessarily look like a penny to me. Like, it doesn't look very coppery. It's more like a peachy, like, clay red. So I'm going to put that down. And we're just going to do a burgundy look today. This color is going on really well. Kind of reminds me of like a sunset. Next to get a little bit more of a burgundy feel, I'm going to take Brick, which is this color right here, I think. So Brick is actually going on a little patchy. It's not wanting to blend out and go on as smooth as the other two colors, but we'll work with it. And then I'm gonna go back with that first color that I used, I forget what it was called, and I'm just gonna blend out and up. I mean, everything's going on pretty well. I will just say that that dark brick color did not want to blend very well. So in regards to the palette so far, that's the only color that I'm like, eh, about. I'm trying to use as many colors as possible, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the darkest color in here, which is that dark brown and almond, and I'm just gonna try to deepen up the outer V. See, and now that one's blending better than brick. Maybe it's just the brick that I had an issue with. Because almond's blending very, very well. I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush. This one's already a little bit dirty, and I'm just gonna lightly go into brick, and I'm gonna rub some of it off on my hand prior, and then I'm just gonna go over the almond and the brick and just kind of blend those two things together. 
I want a gradient effect of dark to light burgundy so that kind of deepened up the brick a little bit and then also just still keeps that as you can see it still matches my shirt. I'm gonna use the color Naked which is just a very light kind of champagne-y color. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it and I'm gonna use it as my highlighter under my eyebrow. Ooh, I'm not having a good eyebrow day. I'm gonna go back with that fluffy brush that I used from the beginning and I'm just gonna blend out that so that there's no harsh line. So I don't hate this look so far. I don't really necessarily hate the eyeshadow so far, but none of them are screaming like exciting or different or anything like that. I'm just gonna really quickly swatch these shimmery colors for you guys. So this is what the three shimmery colors look like right here, and I will say that these two right here swatched really, really rough. Like they felt really gritty and dry, whereas this one right here though swatched really smooth and felt exactly the same as the highlighter, like it was very creamy and all of that. But for some reason, the more maroony one, well, I guess it feels better now that I've taken off that top layer. They feel better now that I've taken off that top layer, but the first layer of it was like really gritty and dry. So moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and then I'll finish up my eye look with my mascara and then do something on the under eye with some more eyeshadow. So now that I have my eyelashes and eyeliner and all that done, I'm going to take this center color right here, which literally is called Burgundy. It's the only reason why I bought this palette, because I don't own any color like it. And I was like, that is really beautiful. Like, this is actually what drew me to this palette, so I'll be pretty sad if it's a disappointment. But I'm going to take that with a very small pencil brush, and I'm going to line my lower lashes with it. And it is a pretty color. And then I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs like coal liner real quick and I'm going to put that on the outside area. Then I'm going to take that pencil brush again, dip it in some more burgundy and blend all of that out. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face because I look extremely weird with such a smoky eye and nothing else on there. I'm going to bronze up my face real quick using my favorite Hourglass bronzer. Maybe that'll be the next thing Kylie comes out with is a bronzer and blush. I bet you she'll come out with a blush next. That makes the most sense. It's to go from highlighter to blush, right? And I'm just going to bronze up the outsides of my face. Nothing special. Have you guys ever seen me in a turtleneck? Like, I <laughs> can't believe I'm wearing a turtleneck right now. I know that sounds really random, but... I don't usually do well with like stuff around my neck, like I feel like I'm choking or I feel really nauseous all the time or like I'm going to throw up, but I found this turtleneck on Express during one of their sales and it looked so comfy and I really liked the color of it and John was like, I really like that on you, you have to keep it. So now, so now I'm testing out how long I can last in a turtleneck throughout the day because I'm not usually a turtleneck person. I don't really know why I brought that up right now, maybe because I'm just a super random person. <laughs> Then I'm going to put some blush on. I'm going to use this color right here. This is NARS Sin. I haven't used this in a long time, but this used to be one of my favorite, favorite, favorite blushes. Oh, it used to be one of my favorite blushes. So this is like a purpley kind of color. Hopefully it'll go really well. I'm not sure. I hate when I make those mistakes of like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. And then you have to like either start all over or live with it. Oh, let's see. Ooh, okay. Oh, although you know what this kind of has a shimmer to it so it kind of defeats the purpose of testing out that highlighter whoops I feel like this is a super fall look like, I'm kind of bummed it's not October as much as I'm looking forward to summer this would make a really good like autumn look wouldn't it and we have that so the blush I think goes really well with the eyeshadow but again it does have a little bit of a shimmer to it so it's kind of going to defeat the purpose of this highlighter and now that I'm thinking about it this highlighter might not go very well with this look anyways because it is more of a caramel color we will see though so it swatched really beautifully on my hand and on my finger but let's see how it applies using a fan brush there's not a lot of fallout so that's nice That's pretty. 
I'll put a little bit right there. And that is really pretty. Now, which lip color should we use? That's the question. I feel like Kristen is just a little bit too much burgundy. I feel like I should use cocoa. They're staying in place pretty well. Like, that color stays in place pretty darn well, so that's impressive. I just feel like Kristen's gonna be too much. Don't you think it's gonna be too much? I feel like it's gonna be too much. This is my Huda Beauty lip liner in, uh, what color is this? Trendsetter. Those match pretty well, so I think I'm gonna line my lips with this. I filled in most of my lips with Trendsetter because it stays longer when I do that. And now we're going to go in with the Cocoa. Feels nice. Uh, I don't really like the smell. The smell is a little bit too sweet for me. Mm, like it's really sweet. I am going to quickly do my hair because I am one of those people who needs to do her hair last in her regimen, which let me know if you guys are the same because a while back I did a video, like a hair video or something, I don't remember, maybe it was a get ready with me, but it was sponsored by a hair tool company and they were upset that I didn't put doing my hair at the beginning of the video because they really wanted their product push and I'm just not, I always do my hair naturally last, so I told them, I was like, well it's not very organic if I do it first because I just do my hair last and they're like, well a lot of people do their hair first and before they do anything else and I'm thinking who like do you do that I don't know I just feel like sometimes I don't even know how I want to do my hair until my makeup is done you know what I mean so let me know about that I'm curious about that but I'm gonna go do my hair real quick and then let this dry on my lips and then I'll see kind of how it feels how it tastes how it wears that kind of thing all right guys so this is the finished look sorry I'm trying to get like this natural daylight so you can see like everything like the good the bad I want you to see all of it so I'm upstairs in the front room and I really really like this look I'm not gonna lie I like it I don't usually go for this much like smokiness but I do like it in regards to lip color I will say that I really really like it it's very lightweight it doesn't feel crusty or anything like that I will say that just like with any matte drying uh, long-lasting lip wear you can see more of your like wrinkles and stuff like that uh, but for the most part it's a really I actually really like it I don't I don't hate it but it does feel lighter weight than the Huda Beauty one that I like to use and it's a little bit more moisturizing than the Huda Beauty one they are very similar in regards to everything else so I do like the lip colors I think that they're worth the money um, in regards to the eyeshadow like I said I like the eyeshadow look a lot I really like that burgundy color I think that the palette's really nice. I don't know if I would think, I don't know if it's a $42 palette though. To be completely honest, just because of the packaging, if the packaging was a little bit nicer, I would say $42, yeah, I get it. But with the packaging, I feel like you could probably get the same quality of eyeshadows in like a $30 or even a $20 palette. That's just, that's just my opinion. Like, I don't think there's anything like miraculous or very special about the eyeshadow palette itself, uh, but it's not a bad palette. So if you want to buy it because you like it and you like Kylie or whatever your reasoning is it's not a bad palette it works really well I just don't think that there's anything like really special about it that makes it a $42 palette with the packaging that it has but that being said if you buy it you're not gonna regret it because it does work really well but if you don't have the money for it look for something more affordable and I think you'll be just as happy with that that's my opinion on the eyeshadows in regards to the highlighter I really do like the highlight I think it worked really well I think it's very beautiful I think it's very very subtle. I like it a lot on my nose. Again, I got the one in Salted Caramel. I, I think the price point is pretty on for that one as well. I'd love to try other ones from there, but I have so many highlighters right now. Like, I bought a NARS palette highlighter as well, which I was going to show you guys that in an upcoming, like, new things in my collection or I don't know what to call it but I was gonna talk about that one later so in the end I really liked everything I think everything was worth the money except for the eyeshadows I, I just think that there are so many other palettes out there for the same price or lower that work just as well if not better but the lip stuff and the highlighter I definitely think are great and worth the money and I say go get them if you like them because they are pretty nice so there you have it there is my look what do you guys think let me know below give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this comment below if you've tried Kylie cosmetics and you like them or don't like them them. I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. And subscribe if you want to see more videos and hit that notification bell next to it so that you can be notified every single time I upload. And yeah, that's about it for me. So I'm going to let you guys go and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye!